Hello Pantre and welcome to our next video. Today I will show you how to drive the Taylor Quet flow formula for relation for velocity of a fluid which is right here with respect to as a function of rho with respect to uh, to uh, to, to the distance from the center which uh, moves uh, inside uh, two, between two cylinders. Uh, the cylinders are uh, rotating, the first with angular velocity omega and the second capital omega. The radii of uh, the cylinders are uh, A and B respectively for the bigger cylinder. Now let us uh, drive this formula and uh, or th th this formula and uh, uh, let's 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 do this. It's it's really simple. First boundary conditions. First boundary condition is that uh, the velocity at um, uh, rho is equal to a must be omega times a and velocity at rho is equal to b must be capital omega b. Next, we will assume this special form of velocity field because there is a symmetry. We don't have to assume neither of the z. Yes, we can. Actually, there can be a flow in z direction, but we neglect it as as well as in rho direction. So the only remaining term in a steady flow, yes, there there will be currents if the 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 angular velocities are big enough. Yes, it will happen, but for a moment assume we are dealing with small velocities, so it's laminar case, no turbulence, no, no vortices. So that's the solution, and V is a function of function of rho. And next, we will substitute uh, this in the uh, Stokes flow formulas formulae. We have to compute Laplacian of V, which is, uh, you know, that trick. It's, it's the same as like a minus double curl. So that's uh, that's this, and uh, we will we will be using again for computing our vector calculus identities this this chart, which we have used a lot already. These are the vectors. The relations, uh, positive directions and gradients of coordinates and their di divergences of the respective normal uh, unit vectors and curl of the normal unit vectors and gradient of uh, unit vectors. Uh, here we have to take um, a curl of pr the product uh, of a product, so we have to perform uh, Laplace, uh, oh, uh, like a, uh, Le, uh, Leibniz rule, yes. So this has to be uh, Nabla is acting on V, that means it's, it's gonna be V respect to rho because it's only dependent variable uh, times rho hat uh, cross uh, phi hat, which is if we uh, rho hat. Uh, and uh, phi hat is z z hat, and that's that, that's easy. And uh, plus uh, curl of phi, which is curl of phi, is one over rho times z. So one over rho times z. I can write it like this. V rho plus one over V over rho Z hat. Yes, and this this is gonna be take another curl. This is gonna be there is a derivative with respect to rho times rho hat cross Z, which is in the negative direction, so it's minus, which will cancel out with this minus. So we are left with this expression. 
and this is uh, one, one, 1 over uh, the dynamic viscosity times gradient of P. Well, then uh, this has to be this has to vanish if we take its curl because uh, curl curl of uh, gradient is zero so curl of uh, Laplacian V must be zero because Laplacian is gradient P so it's curl of this I will write um, this for, for uh, this will be W W so it's W Phi, and we've already computed this uh, uh, curl before because it's the same sh uh, form in like this so the result will be this one so it's minus uh, oh the minus will be not here uh, w with respect to r plus w over uh, rho and rho uh, z hat this should be zero at, and it's only case it's this is zero this is simple equation Euler equation it has just one solution but you can guess it already it, it has to be it has to be one over one over rho this is the solution but actually a is zero because otherwise there will be a component there will be a component to the pressure that's the great that's the gradient of, of, of a pressure and the gradient of a pressure cannot be uh, some multiple of unit vector of phi because that would mean that p the pressure is a function of phi which isn't which it isn't because uh, otherwise there would be a discontinuity in pressure but uh, there is none because it's 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 symmetrical, so this is to be zero. Next, uh, this is W is so therefore zero. Hence, uh, this is our W. Zero must be equal to V rho plus V rho with respect to rho, and that's zero. If we integrate it once, we get. Uh, v rho plus v over rho is equal to some constant b and this equation uh, is is the same as we have done before is homogeneous equation and it has a second solution which is uh, which is uh, which is uh, rho which is just rho so it's uh, this, this 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 has to be b or or this is zero and it, it, it has a solution b rho plus uh, plus c over rho this resembles the structure as, as you see it right here uh, so that, that, that's, that's the end but I will continue now because you have to uh, now use uh, the boundary conditions velocity at rho is equal to a is equal to omega times a and this is b times a plus c over a that has to be omega a and the velocity at rho is equal to b must be um, capital omega times b and if you solve this linear system of this linear system of e equations you will arrive at the solution for b which is this one b squared minus 2 squared and for c c is minus omega minus uh, capital omega minus uh, small omega and there is a squared b squared which are exactly the same as in this equation uh, as a as addendum or as a bonus, I will compute a momentum which exert which the moving fluid exerts on the inner cylinder. Momentum, momentum, or a torque. That's momentum. A moment of force 
it's gonna be integral of the small momenta which are uh, which 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 are what a times little forces so a times little forces or uh, the radius of, of, of the forces a times little forces which are which are in the direction of in the direction of rho times ds ds it's element of element of surface on the the inner inner cylinder so it's like an element on the inner cylinder there is ds so because the force is not dependent on phi it's gonna be 2 pi uh, there is Jacobian a d uh, z d the uh, d phi so it has to be 2 pi i uh, 2 pi 2 pi i squared uh, times uh, times uh, because the the force is also not dependent on z because it's symmetrical so we can integrate it along z along z component but it's in it's it's two infinite cylinders so we have to assume that they are of a, a finite size or or say that the moment uh, is per unit of length so but we we will write l for the length integral of length and uh, and the and which is basically the surface of a cylinder that's, that's the surface of a cylinder 2 pi 3 pi i times l times a uh, moment uh, uh, length or force. What what is this? Oh, we we have to account. We have to consider this relationship, which is considered the relation for mo for a fluid, which is this, which is this eta gradient of v plus gradient of v transpose. Uh, we will assume that pressure is zero everywhere uh, otherwise it would be just constant term which will cancel out because there is no contribution in the phi direction there is no contribution so let me, co let me compute this part a nabla of v is gonna be a nabla of v is just v function which is uh, b over rho oh b rho plus c over rho uh, times phi unit vector and that means that this is this is this is gonna be uh, nabla is acting on here so it's b minus c over rho squared times gradient of rho which is by rho hat and the second term is gradient of uh, phi, which is in here, gradient of phi minus minus one over rho, phi and rho, that's it's so it's a minus uh, one over rho, so it's b b plus c over rho squared, and there is uh, rho uh, phi and, and rho hat. The transpose, if uh, if we sum it with, with its transpose, we will get this because you are, uh, this is like a, a symmetric. So you have to just sum this with this. So it's minus b cancels out, and the remaining term is minus two c over rho so minus 2c over over rho 
squared over over rho squared, so that's um, minus two c over rho squared times rho phi plus phi rho. That's 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 it. And for for our force by the def by the very definition the force because our normal here our normal normal vector the surface it's exactly rho hat so that's gonna be rho hat dot uh, sigma stress tensor dot uh, phi vector so the only contribution is from this part so this is minus 2c over rho squared at a it's minus 2c over a squared so the force or the moment is going to be 2 times this and that will equal to that will equal to if you substitute in a c which is over there that will equal this that will Equal. Well, I, I'm I'm gonna write this like right here. That's uh, minus four minus four p eta l omega minus omega uh, and. Uh, b squared over b squared minus a a squared yes that's that's it let's do let's, let's expression if i i will check it but it's i think it's correct and uh, as a bonus you if you take b to infinity which means the second cylinder is far, far away, and if you put capital omega to zero, that means that the far field is stationary. That's exactly the same as a moving cylinder. So that's it's gonna look like this. It's minus. That's one in a limit. So it's minus four pi eta l omega and as you may, may be as you may, may be remember this is the the equation for for the for the uh, moment in the case of the fluid rotating around cylinder actually there should be and uh, there should be a squared over there so that's a squared here I forgot so this is this is the same formula as as before and you can compute viscosity with that also from this and so for for the moment from the second cylinder the case is symmetrical you just have to switch from a to b and from omega to capital omega in this expression so I hope you enjoyed it, so see you next time, Panthera, and have a nice day.